शुक्लां ब्रह्म विचार सार परमाद्यां जगद्व्यानी वीणा पुस्तकधारिणी अभयता जाट्यांधकारापहा हस्ते स्वाटिकलिका विदधती पद्मासने संस्थिता वंदेता परमेशरी भगवती मुद्धि प्रदा शारदा न्वा सरस्वती देवी शुद्धा मुनिया कौम्यहम पाणिनी अवेशा लघु सिद्धांत कौमी Okay, the uh, screen is too small. How about now? Is this better? I think the earlier screen was too small. I I was on a uh, I didn't uh, blow it to full screen. I'm sorry. Okay. So any next time I'll uh, try to remember. So we looked at the sutras, halantyam, ityadi, agarshanam lopaha, asya lopaha. Then, sahita, which makes the pratyahara with the uh, the beginning letter and the end letter that halantyam is that letter together make a uh, pratyahara a short form of all which are there in the middle also along with the earlier along with the first letter and then we saw what is rasvadirga plutaha ukala the pronunciation of u and in uh, 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 the way the uh, so there was a uh, in, in fact I cross checked in Bala Manorama the tika on lagu uh, the it is the only tika which says the kukuta the kukuta uh, in the morning early morning it yells out in rasva dirga and pluta so ku 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 that's how it goes and therefore that is used as a standard to compare the unit of time so that is the u so u within the ku Who within the Kukuta's Ku? How Ku Ku Ku? So in Raswa, one unit of time, two units of time, and three units of time. Therefore, that Ku is taken as a standard, and whatever has the that unit of pronunciation, that gets the Raswa Dirga Pruta Sanda Sanya, and what gets that? That is Ach. So Ach is mentioned here. This without this Ach, there is a reason why Ach is there. We'll see in today's sutra why Ach is there here. I'll just mention it now itself. so without ach if you don't say vowel what else has pronunciation when ku is pronounced that time kakara al plus ukara so when ku is pronounced say ku then ku and three units of time ku kluta so when the kukuta yells ku 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 that time this u ha- has a one matra duration this u has a two matra duration and this u has a three matra duration plutha so you have got the sanya all right but what about this kakara within kakara here here and here do they have any unit of time involved at all if they do not many people think that the vyanjana has no uh, it does not take a matra therefore when uh, let's say there is a rudra pata going on and especially on a shivaratri you have to do 11 rounds so if 11 rounds you have to do then how will you finish fast if you have a time schedule so you increase the speed and increasing the speed means what cutting down the hrasva dirga and plutas in the in the chanting in the rudra pata so that chanting you are cutting down what are you cutting down you are cutting down the vowels you are cutting down the unit of the duration of the time taken for pronouncing the vowels sarswa dirga and pluta however the vyanjana also has a unit of time otherwise i can let's say uh, say krutsnam so there is a word krutsnam krutsnam and let's say uh, tasya bhava add that also kartnyam 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 so look at this in this krutsnam or kartnyam you have takara you have all this ka and then you have takara you have repa kar takara sakara nakara and yakara in the kartnyam word 
so this let's forget this ka over interest in this and then you have a cars near a and um so basically um so you remove um and ka what you have you have all the vyanjanas re pa is a vyanjana takara is a vyanjana sakara is a vyanjana nakara is a vyanjana and yakara is a vyanjana you have a sandhi of five consonants five consonants have come together you have five consonants now does the pronunciation time taken to say karsnyam is it same as ka and am um? if i remove this if i remove this part i bracket it let's say i don't pronounce this if the vyanjana takes no time to pronounce then ka ka plus am um, this kam kam or kam or even this kakara will not take any time makara will not take any time if if the vyanjana takes no time then then the karsnyam will will have what unit of time a is two matras kakara takes no unit of time and then a is one matra this a also in a dirga sandhi in a savarna dirga sandhi it will become a so there is ka karsnyam does it really take only two units of time like a a and karsnyam there is a difference in pronunciation why because vyanjanas also have they consume some matras and it is said that vyanjana takes around half a matra half a matra raswa takes one matra dirgha takes two matras and kruta takes three matras therefore this ach is mentioned otherwise if you don't say ach if you don't say ach here this ach here raswa dirgha pluta u kal u kal ach if this sutrakara had not said ach then what would happen then this repha and takara the first two sakara and nakara these two also would get the hraswa sanya they because half matra of repha and half matra of takara would become one matra and one matra is equal to the u kala u kala is what uscha so this uscha u kala ha u kala ha u kala ha that is u kalo so Uh, I'm, I'm just shortening it. It is actually kala eva kala esya. So the kala of this rape and takara put together, two consonants when they are put together in pronunciation, that time their matra will also become one matra, and that matra will get sanya rasua, and this will cause many issues also further in sandhi karya. You will have issue of uh, uh, as, as to what sanya it will get. We'll see in today's uh, patha further. But that's the reason ach is mentioned without the ach because people say what harsho dirga and pruta harsho dirga and pruta can be only for ach it can be only for ach due to this sutra not otherwise With, without this ach in the sutra even consonants two consonants coming in sanyoga would have got a sanya of rasva and thereby many other issues would have come so this is what I wanted to point out as a background to today's study. So we call it just so the third group. Then we saw the udata, anudata, and swarita intonations. They are the sanyas, and thereby we get nine divisions. And further, they are nasalized and non-nasalized by this sutra. Mukha, mukha nasika, vajano anunasika, anunasika sanya is given, and tulya se prayatam savarnam. So by this mukha nasika, vajana anunasika, and then. अनुनासिका एंड अनुनासिका नेजलाइज एंड नॉन नेजलाइज दी स्वराज विल बिकम 18 टाइप्स दैट इज व्हाट वी हैव सीन फर्दर इन तुल्यास तुल्यास से प्रयत्नम सवर्णम इन तुल्यास से प्रयत्न सवर्ण वी गॉट सवर्ण संज्ञा सवर्ण संज्ञा म्यूचुअली म्यूचुअली हुएवर हैज द सेम आस्य इफ टू लेटर्स हैव सेम आस्य एंड प्रयत्न आस्य इज व्हाट अभ्यंतर प्रयत्न सॉरी आस्य इज मुखम the mukhe bhavam asyam and prakrushta yatna prayatna that is abhyantar prayatna so the this sthana mukhe bhavam that is sthana so tulya sthana and prayatna prayatna is abhyantar prayatna internal effort the internal effort and the sthana where the tongue touches in the mouth that is same for which two letters those two letters will become savarna savarna they will get they will they will get the savarna sanya mutually for each other so one will be the savarna of the other both ways that is the idea in this sutra and we saw a lot of uh, shiksha sutras 
where uh, the uh, how the letters are to be pronounced and the savarna are put together in various siksha sutras and how to pronounce this we have seen and we also saw in prakruta uh, in the prakriya prakriya avastha prakriya dashayam tu vivrutam eva this akara is akara is in vivruta in the prakriya avastha during derivation is my voice cracking is my voice cracking for everyone or is it is it only for uh, venkatesh ji is my voice clear for others so uh, it's not cracking uh, venkatesh ji maybe it was cracking okay okay so okay maybe some uh, hiccups in the uh, in the internet i'll see if it if it repeats i'll try to call in yeah i'll continue now uh, if it is uh, cracking again i'll uh, i'll i'll make a call in okay so so akara in in the laukika prayoga when you pronounce it akara that time it is samruta but it is vivruta in the prakriya to make savarna sanya with other vowels that is why uh, the we saw that a uh, a uh, sutra also the last sutra now yeah i am i am yet to talk about the um uh, vartika on this so there is a vartika on this which said i said i'll come back to this so vartika yeah so there is a vartika here which is this so rishi varna your mita savarne vachyam it has been said that rikara and rikara the two vowels rikara and rikara they are to be ha- are to be savarna of each other mita savarna mutually they should be savarna of each other whenever you see ru it should include l and whenever l is said that time it should include include ru thereby savarna savarna sanya becomes useful however why did the vartika say that because here asya and prayatna should be seen for both to become savarna by the sutra tulya se prayatna now ru what is the ru stana see ru 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 is what rutu rashana uh, rutu rashana murdha so thereby the stana is murdha for ru for ru kara for lukara lutu lasanam danta therefore stana is different for lu asyam asyam which is thana is different for rukara and lukara therefore by this sutra you will not get this ru and lu as savarna you will not get savarna sanya for each other therefore vartika says that it has to be extended it should have been said as in elsewhere the way panini maharshi treats these in the bhasha and in vyakarana the way he treats treats it this rukara and lukara are treated as savarna and how we we'll see in the next next sutra we'll see next sutra itself shows that rukara and lukara are have uh, have savarna have savarna for each other mitha is mutually so this sutra does not cover it by itself therefore it is extended in the vartika next sutra says so next sutra which is the 11th sutra and in the sutra part it is 69 sutra in the prathama pada of the prathama adhyaya this is what anudit savarnasya cha pratyaha anudit savarnasya cha pratyaha is the sutra anudit anudit savarnasya cha apratyaha and then there is an anurutti of swasya swasya comes from the sutra so oh, here we don't have it so now from ashtadhyayi if you look at the ashtadhyayi let me open the ashtadhyayi anudit savarnasya cha pratyaha is 1169 
So yeah, here. So Anudit Savanasya Cha Pratyaha. This is the Sutra we are, look, we are looking at. This Swasya. Swasya comes from this Swa. Swa Swam Rupam Shabdasya Ashabda Sanya. Forget this Sutra. This is not our interest right now. But this Swa, Swam Rupam, these two have an Anuritti till 72nd Sutra. From 1168 to 1172, this Swam and Rupam go further. There is an Anuritti. And this Sutra, in this sutra, this swa which is coming down in this sutra, that changes vibhakti, vibhakti parinama. There is a vibhakti parinama. This swam, whichever vibhakti it was in, we do not care when you come to this sutra, this as needed, the vibhakti is undergoing a change. It undergoes a change and this swa, swam becomes swasya. Becomes swasya here. So you will have an anuritti, anudit savaranasya cha pratya and then you will have an anuritti of swasya. So when you come to the sutra, you, it will read as Anudit Savanasya Cha Apratya and then Swasya when you are making a Vritti Swasya Cha. Because Chakara will bring it down. How do you get this Swasya? So this Chakara, Chakara why Anudit Savanasya Cha Apratya? Apratya and Anudit are one, are in Prasama Vibhakti. This is Shashti Ekvachana. Chakara is an Avyaya. Apratya is one one and swasya will come down as as shasti ekvachana. It will change its vibhakti. You will get swasya. Anudit savarnasya swasya cha. Savarnasya swasya cha. Sanya. This is a sanya prakarana. So sanyasya. What is the sanya? So anudit is the sanya. Anudit is the sanya here for savarna and swasya. For itself as well as for its savarna. That is the sanya. What is sanya here? Anudit. In first case, what is there? That is the sanya. And apratya. What kind of apratya it should be? It should not be a pratya. Pratya we see. Pratya generally means what? It means a suffix. It means a uh, suffix. Where do we use the anurupam? I do not uh, get the question. What is the anu, anurupam? Anuruti. Okay. Where do you use the Anuvritti Rupam? Okay, see Rupam, forget Rupam. Rupam will be there through and through. Here, we will get from the Laguvritti what is needed. Uh, generally, when the Anuvritti goes, that Anuvritti, it may not be used at in each and every Sutra. So, till 72, it may go. It will be used wherever it is used, in whichever Sutra it is needed, use the, use the Anuvritti. That Anuruti, in fact, Anuruti is marked in the books by the usage in the sutras. So we don't, we should not work the other way around. Just because Anuruti goes, we should not use it. In fact, since it is needed, therefore we consider that there is Anuruti. Unfortunately, it is lost in the Sampradaya as to uh, how it is brought down. Unless we study the Vrittis and more Tikas, we do not know how the Anuruti has come. Anuruti is marked for us in the books. But how they get this Anuruti is known through the Sutra. In the Sutra, whatever is needed is brought down from the earlier Sutra. And if it is brought down from multiple Sutras back, then does, it may not mean that each and every Sutra which interleaves uses that Anuruti. So Rupam may or may not be used. We will know in the Vritti. Okay. So Anudis Savarnasya Cha Apratyaha Swasya. So Swasya Cha it For itself also. We have seen earlier also. Uh, when we saw the sutra where uh, Adirantyana Saheta. So Adirantyana Saheta in that, in that says Swasya Cha. There you have Swasya Cha. In one one, that, that sutra is 1171. So if you go to what sutra we have already done. This sutra, Adirantyana Saheta we have already done. How did this get Swasya Cha? So this Swasya is also this swam which has become Swasya here in this 1169 that in the earlier sutra we saw, in Lagu, Lagu Prakriya, we saw this sutra Adirantena Saheta before. And Adirantena Saheta Ita Saha Swasya Cha. So, for itself also, that Swasya has come from this Swam. In the sutra Swam Rupam Shabdasya Shabdasanya. And in the sutra Anudit Savarnasya Cha Pratyaha, we get Sarvas, uh, Swasya as Anuvritti. With by Vibhakti Parinama and what is Anudit? Anudit is what? An. 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 So what is this An? Anudit is An. 
Ut and it. There are three segmentations here in the pada. It is a single single pada. Anudit. Anudit is a sanya. What does this mean? Ut. Ut. So ut is when you say u. I had mentioned earlier. Whenever any vowel is mentioned, a, e, u, r, or in our sutra, in our Maheshwara sutra, a, e, u, r, r, k. What is this a, e, u in the a, e, u? So this a, e, or u are what they are. They are vowels. They stand for themselves as well as the entire savarna. Savarna is what this 18 prakaras, 18 a, e, and u. And R all have 18 Vedas by Raswa Dirga Pluta division by uh, intonations of uh, Udatta Anudatta Swarita and their nasalization and non-nasalization by Anunasika Ananunasika. Thereby, this U, if it is mentioned just U, then it will stand for all 18 types of U, all 18 types of U. However, when this Takara is added. When takar is added, the sutra here is. Uh, I'll not mention this sutra. Taparas tatkalasya. We'll get this when when we get there. We'll get there. But taparaha, tapara is what taparaha. Takara, takara is para, as in after. Taparaha, taparaha is what taparaha letter. Any word ha which is taparaha, any vowel ach, ach which is taparaha. Tatkalasya matra, tatkalasya matra. It is only of tatkala. Tatkala is what. Whichever kala you add takara to, only that kala it will be applicable for. It will not be applicable for. It will be restricting the kala to only that which is mentioned. So I said earlier, you see a, uh, you say at, it will become what only akara kala, only rasva kala. If you say at, then at will be what only for the akara kala, which is dhirga kala. So dhirga kala, whichever is there in those 18, those will be included. When you say ut, similarly, ut is what ukara. This ukara, not ut. This is not ut. If it is ut, then it will become dhirga kala. Since it is ut, it will become only rasva ukara. Rasva ukara. So this takara will limit this ukara, uh, this u to ukara, as in rasva u. And whatever vedas are there, nasalization, non-nasalization, uh, and then the uh, udata. Anudatta Swarita, those Vedas may be there, but it will not be applicable for other kalas. Only Tatkala, Taparaha Tatkala. So Tapara is what? Utis Taparaha. Ukara is Taparaha. Takara Paraha Yasya Yasmat. Takaraha Paraha Yasmat Ukara. Saha Ukaraha Ut. Saha Ukara will be what? Uh, will be Tatpa Tatparaha. It will be Taparaha. Sorry, will be Taparaha. So this Ut is what? Ukaraha. Ukara is what is equal to this. Ut is equal to ukara, and it is also tapara. Tapara means what? Because this ukara, rather, this ukara is tapara. Tapara ukara. Tapara u. It is tapara u, and tapara u is what? Takara ha, para ha, yasma. Uhu. I'll say uhu. Actually, it will be what? How? How do I say ukara? So I'll say ukara. Saha ukara ha. Ukara is just this u. Yes, mat oho. So u will become what? Oho. Like guru who in panchami, one word will become oho. So I I can say oho, but it will be too complicated. I'll mention ukara. I'll jump the gun. I'll say ukara. Saha ukara is what? Tapara ukara ha. That ukara is tapara ukara. And in the sutra, I mentioned this sutra. Tapara tatkalasya. This tapara ukara. Tapara ukara will be tatkala. Tatkala is what? Ukara kala. So it will be ukara kala. What ut will mean? Therefore, ut will be ukara kala. And ukara kala, ukara kala is a, is what? Raswa. Therefore, tatkala. Tatkala. This will be tatkala. Tatkala is equal to ukara kala is equal to raswa. Raswa ukara. So raswa and therefore only ukara is mentioned. Only ukara will be in raswa ukara. Raswa ukara will be the will be the meaning of this put. So anudit will mean mean what further? An an ut 
ut and udit. So udit. So you see ut. So ut and it. You see ut and it. What are these? Ut and it. Ut it yasya. Ut it yasya. That will be what? This is bhauri. So ut. So ut it yasya. And ut it. So and is separate. And is one pada. I, I marked a dash because I wanted to go from the back side but an is not a part of this samasa at all. It is not one word. You can make one word and say uh, it is gandva and then it will be too complicated but here you say separate out an. An is a pratyahara. And what? Ut. Ut ityasya. Ut ityasya will become udit. So ut and it, there is a sandhi here. This takara will become dakara and you will get udit. Udit means what? Udit means ut. Udit is what? An is one part and ut is what? Ut, it, yasya, saha, udit. And what is this? Yasya varanasya or yasya? For whichever, which is yasya, we'll see what this yasya is. Yasya is this is apratyasya. Whichever, anything, anything that is there, where whatever it has or rather whatever has a uh, Ukara as it, Raswa Ukara as it. In fact, we have already seen in the earlier sutra. In earlier sutra, when we say said these, these uh, uh, yeah, see akuha. So akuha visarjaniya nam, akur akuha visarjaniya nam kantaha. So there we saw this u. U is it. This ku means what? Ku in this 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 ukara is uh, there is a. Uh, uh, Anunasika there. Anunasika is what? Upadeshe Janunasikam it. It will become it. It as in it will get an itsanya. What will get an itsanya? Halantyam. Halantyam is what? The antya hal. But in the sutra we saw Lan Madhya to itsanya ka. Lan Madhya the akara. The akara everywhere else it is. Uh, this uh, in the Hayavar sutra Hakara Dishu Akaraha Ucharanartha. This akara in this Maheshwara sutra that we saw this set of Maheshwara Sutras in this, all these Sutras we saw Halantyam it, this Nakara is it, Nyakara is it, all of these are it. And from this Akara in all these Sutras, where you say Hakara plus Akara, Yakara plus Akara, Hakara Dishu Akaraha is was for Ucharana Matra, Ucharanartha. However, this Lan, in this Lan, this Akara is not only for Ucharana, it is made Anunasika and Lan Madhyesu Itsanyaka. Akara is Itsanyaka. And Upadeshe Janunasika It. We saw in the Sutra Upadeshe Janunasika It. I mentioned just before this Halantyam Sutra there is Upadeshe Janunasika It. Anunasika vowel is It anywhere in the Sutra, in the Upadesha. In the Upadesha. And this Sutra is an Upadesha. Even the Shiksha Sutra is an Upadesha where you see Akuha Visarjaniyana. Akuha Visarjaniyana Kantha. Thereby this Ukara which is Anunasika that will get an Itsanya by Upadeshe Janunasika It. And this It letter for Ukara in this Ku is what? Ukaraha Ityasya. Ut Ityasya. Yasya Kukarasya. Yasya Kukarasya. Ku will be Anunasika. Yasya Kukarasya Ukaraha it bhavati, that ku will be called what? That ku will be called as udit. So this ku is udit ku. It is called as udit ku because that ukara in that ukara, ukara is an it letter. It has an it sanya. And we have already seen this, what it stands for? It stands for every, every varna. So savarnasya, sasya savarnasya, sanyasya, thereby I when we look at our sutra right now, which is Ut Anudit, in Anudit, Ut It Yasya, Ut is what this, as an example, Ku, Ku is that in which Ukara is It, therefore Ku will be called as Udit, Udit Ku. So for, as an example, Ut It Yasya, for, exam, for example, Ku Karasya, Ku Karasya, Sa Ku Karaha, Sakku, I'll say ku, I can say Sakku, Sakku Udit. This will get an Udit Sanyana. Udit is a Sanya. By which sutra? By this sutra. 
ಸವರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಅಪ್ರತ್ಯ ಸೊ ಅಣು ಸವರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಸವರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಉದಿತ್ ಉದಿತ್ ಸಂಜ್ಞಾ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಉದಿತ್ ಸಂಜ್ಞಾ ನಾವು ಕಕಾರ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಉದಿತ್ ಸಂಜ್ಞಾ ಕ ಖ ಗ ಘ ಞ ಕ ಖ ಗ ಘ ನ್ಯ ಇನ್ ಕ ಖ ಗ ಘ ನ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಕೂ ಅಂಡ್ ಕೂ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಕೂ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಕೂ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಬೋತ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ಫೈವ್ ಕಕಾರ ಖಕಾರ ಗಕಾರ ಘಕಾರ ಅಂಡ್ ನ್ಯಕಾರ ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಉದಿತ್ ಸಂಜ್ಞಾ ಫಾರ್ ವಾಟ್ for savarna swasya swasya this ku ku has kakara because ku in kuka ku ukara is an it letter and tasya lopah bhavati by the other sutra you will get which we have seen tasya lopah bhavati that will be elided so content is what content is kakara but ku will stand not only for kakara swasya swasya udit sanya sya but also for savarnasya savarnasya cha and savarna for kakar ku is what k kh g gh ny they are savarna by the earlier sutra we have seen tulyasya prayatnam savarna in that we have seen savarna sanya how how they get and thereby ku will be called as udit it will get udit sanya and not only ku as in kakara but also savarna of kakara which is k kh 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 g gh and ny all savarna of kakara so mutually all of them are savarna and thereby all of them will be called as what udit now they will be called as they will get a sanya they will get sanya they will get this actually they will get their own uh, whatever they are they are savarna so savarnasya savarnasya for savarnasya sixth what goes in sixth case that is a that is a sthani really we will see sthani when we come to that but even in uh, laukika pra- prayoga for that you say for the savarna so sasya and savarnasya cha there is a udit sanya there is a anu udit sanya is there udit is the sanya we'll see further we'll see in the vritti i'm just explaining this but we'll see in the vritti further what it means and get more clarity uh, is u there is a question is u it even when it is not anunasika see anunasika if it is not anunasika ananuna if it is ananunasika meaning it is not anunasika as uh, the question is if when it is not anunasika yeah so when it is not anunasika how do we know whether it is anunasika or not anunasika it is known in the sampradaya but anunasika anunasika anuswara bheda in pronunciation anunasika pronunciation itself as well as the marking in the books as to what is anunasika how it is marked in the books not all books have the markings in fact sutra patha does not many sutra pathas most of the sutra patas do not have the marking of what is anunasika so land madhye you see in the maheshwara sutras land is written as land not land there is no anunasika however when you get when you get this uh, uh, so when you get the uh, sutra land you may not see the marking as anunasika the pronunciation also may have lost anunasika uh, may have lost but however in sampradaya we know what is anunasika what is not anunasika only from uh, the teaching sampradaya we know otherwise it cannot be it so when you are doing derivations how did a particular letter vanish in the derivation it has to be explained so when we look at the derivations when we go further in any prakriya singanta subanta anga prakriya ityadi that time we have to question at each place as to why why is a particular letter elided and there some sutra has to be given so either it is for pronunciation or it is like in the sutras hayavarat in the hayavarat they are not anunasika so not only ukara any vowel which is not anunasika how did you elide it so there the, the vritti says what lagu vritti says hakaradishu akara uchcharnartha only for uchcharan it is so uchcharnartha if it is then it can be elided so even if it is not anunasika it can be elided then why should we make a differentiation between anunasika and ananunasika because not only ukara the question is with ukara but we need not uh, restrict it to that vowel it can be any vowel any vowel which is not anunasika if it is and it is elided in the prakriya then the teaching explains it is only used for uchcharana otherwise if there are conjunct consonants conjunct consonants without vowel even a single consonant 
कैनॉट बी प्रोनाउंस विदाउट वॉवेल इन हकार आदिशु हकार उच्चारण बट एल्सवेर इन दी प्रत्यय वेन से सूत्र ऑर्डिनेंस का प्रत्यय और नागम वेन दैट इज डन सम मे हैव सम कंजंक कॉन्सोनेंट्स इवन अ धातु पाठ हा इन धातु पाठ यू मे हैव सम कंजंक कॉन्सोनेंट्स और समथिंग एल्स वेयर अ वॉवेल हैज टू बी नेसेसरीली एडेड ओनली फॉर प्रोनाउंसिएशन दैट नीड नॉट गो थ्रू अ सूत्र इट नीड नॉट बी एलाइडेड अंडर गो लोप थ्रू अ सूत्र देयर यू कैन इट द वृत्तिकार मे जस्ट से विद वृत्तिकार एज जस्ट दी the anuvrutti may not have it but you say that without any sutra you say that it is because it was used only for uchcharana because you cannot pronounce cons consonants without vowel however if you make it anunasika then why not make it anunasika and then elide it with a sutra because in the vyakaranas do not accept any uh, anything to have anunasika or whatever where a sutra is applicable and by sutra you elide it then there has to be a reason for a particular sutra to apply to remove a particular letter which is added which is superfluous now it it need not be superfluous it has to be explained it cannot be superfluous it has to be explained as to why it is it if you have removed through a sutra it is it due to being anunasika then the question is why is it anunasika so by making it anunasika the purpose is not only to make it it okay i'll, I'll try to dial in i think uh, so i'm being uh, I'm, my voice is not clear so i'll, I'll dial in just give me a minute is my voice clear now can you hear me i got one suggestion not to dial in because dial in voice quality is not good can you hear me is the, this voice better okay so let's uh, continue uh, with this voice okay so uh what was i saying okay so anul savansha cha pratyaha so okay radhika ma i'll come to the meaning i'll come to the meaning of anudhi savansha cha pratya it is a sanya prakaranam anudit is a an so udit an which is apratya an and udit they are the sanyas they are sanyas given to savarna for savarna and its itself so that is the meaning of the it is a sanya sutra which is giving what a sanya whatever is in first case is a sanya here what is this anudit is in first case apratyah is in first case so anudit for apratyah an and udit apratyah an only an apratyah the an is a an and udit so they are the sanya given for savarna savarnasya sanya for savarna and what is savarna see savarna has been a sanya in the earlier sutra in this tulyasa prayatnam savarnam savarnam is in first case savarna is the sanya given for for this prayatnam and asya being same tulya so tulya if it is there then for those letters there is a savarna sanya given this is the other way round this is the other way round this sutra is doing what whatever is savarna for those savarnas what kind of savarna we'll see what kind of savarna but uh, in the, the sutra vritti but apratya an that an which is apratya we'll see what all this means in the sutra i just want to explain this udit first because udit udit an an is a pratyahara we have learned a pratyah also we know 
pratyahara and is a pratyahara we know and pratyaya we know what pratyaya is we know by uh, because we know some sanskrit we know what pratyaya is pratyaya is a suffix that meaning will change in the vritti it will change but savarna also we know by the earlier sutra what is savarna however udit we do not know what is udit so therefore i am explaining udit i am spending time on udit because we do not know what is udit udit is not udit narayan so we we want to know what is udit so ut it yes here by that we are trying to understand what is so therefore i am spending a little more time on this all the short forms will be used in the sutra as to what is it will be put together and you will get a sanya okay sorry for a bad joke but then uh, uh, that's why we are spending a little more time on udit we'll get the kit kakara is it yes ki kakara it yes it yes here that will become what kit nyakara it yes here nit ukara it yes here udit ut ut it yes here ut is ukara ukara it yes here that will be what udit so therefore uh, uh, this ut udit is a sanya given by this sutra for what for savarna savarna se other way round earlier for all which are which are having tulya asya and prayatna have got the savarna sanya and by other way round whatever is savarna in what this anudit anudit the the savarna which will get un, so un, apratya un, and udit are the sanya given for savarna we'll see in examples we'll see examples okay there is another question yes sai pe ji you have a question do you have question okay maybe it's by mistake okay so uh अणुदित सवर्ण से अप्रत्य एंड स्वस्थ स्वस्थ ऑल्सो फॉर इट सेल्फ ऑल्सो कू विल स्टैंड फॉर ककारा आई एम सींग स्टैंड फॉर बट इन दिस सूत्रा द रीजन इज बिकॉज इट विल स्टैंड फॉर ऑल ऑफ दिस वेर फोर कू विल मीन ककारा एंड ऑल इट सवर्ण सो बोथ बोथ ऑफ दीज ऑल ऑफ दीज विल हैव अ सवर्ण संज्ञा ककारा एंड सवर्ण संज्ञा बाय द अर्लियर सूत्रा एंड बाय दिस सूत्रा दिस सवर्ण ककारा खकारा गकारा घकारा एंड यकारा will have what udit udit sanya and that which is udit they will stand for swasya and others also so we have seen earlier that they savarna when you say savarna then they stand for all their savarna they represent when you say one the others are included so and here ku will mean what ku will udit this ku is udit and ku is udit means what kakara kakara ka kha ga ga nya all of the ka varga letters will be called as udit each of those now let's go to sutras vritti what is pratyaha pratyaha we know as a suffix generally what is the definition of pratyaha let me tell you there is no clear definition of pratyaha in sutra patha in sutra patha if you go to sutra patha uh in sutra patha Uh, third chapter so third chapter so third chapter you see there is there are words pratyaha 311 sutra 311 is pratyaha parascha so pratyaha parascha this is the adhikar sutra adhikar sutra means they go for a good duration what is the duration of this pratyaha in anuvritti it goes till fifth chapter fourth pada and 160th sutra so almost the the entire entire fifth chapter and pratyaha parascha also has an anurutti there forget this adyudatascha but pratyaha and parascha are, are huge adhikaras pratyaha and parascha are huge adhikaras they go to second third chapter fourth chapter fifth chapter entire set of three chapters complete three chapters in ashtadhyayi a group of eight chapters three chapters have pratyaha anurutti and what is the definition you understand pratyaha is that which is which is in the first case in the first case prathama vibhakti in the second chapter third chapter fourth uh, sorry third chapter fourth chapter and fifth chapter in three chapters third fourth and fifth whatever is given in the sutra patha in the first case prathama vibhakti that is a pratyaha of course there may be exceptions but this is a general rule and a general definition what is a pratyaha there is no definition we say suffix but 
technically in vyakarana what is it whatever is defined whatever is given in the first case in the third fourth and fifth chapters that is a pratyaya and then extended interpretation how do we make that goes paraha and since it goes paraha para means later later from what we'll see after a dhatu after a dhatu after a pratipadika whatever goes so that and all we'll see in the context of each and every sutra or context of the pada or the chapter but whatever is goes after after what is in the sutra but each of these sutras in the third fourth and fifth chapter but whatever goes after that is a pratyaya and what is that that which is given in the sutra in the first case therefore te- technical definition technical understanding is what pratyaya is that which goes in the first case in the third fourth and fifth chapters and it goes later thereby by parascha therefore you call it a suffix suffix means that that unit that entity which goes after something after something that is suffix so that is suffix therefore it, it is called as a pratyaya we understand as suffix but technically it is that which is defined in the third fourth and fifth chapters in the first case what is introduced in the first case okay back to our sutra a lot of details today so pratyaya here though is it that pratyaya which is mentioned here no here it is defined pratyate vidhiyate iti pratyaya pratyate iti pratyaya that is the basic meaning pratyaya definition is what pratyate iti pratyate is a karmani vitpatti so pratyaya initially is introduced by the lagu vyakhya as pratyate iti pratyaya that karmani so that which is which is ordained meaning what is pratyate pratyate is equal to vidhiyate that which is which is ordained which has so karmani vitpatti that vidhiyate is the meaning for pratyate equal to vidhiyate pratyate iti pratyaya and pratyate kim what is pratyate pratyate iti karmani karmani vitpatti is of meaning is vidhiyate that which is ordained in the sutras what is ordained in the sutra is pratyaya that is the understanding however here vidhiyate has a vast meaning whatever is whatever is ordained is a pratyaya and what is apratyaya in the sutra it is not pratyaya it is what cha apratyaya it is apratyaya what is not ordained in the sutra what is not ordained in any sutra in the ashtadhyayi it can need not be in the third fourth and fifth chapters anywhere what is ordained so let's say let's take one sutra so some people who have studied or have uh, seen uh, uh, sandhi sandhi karya so there is something called as yan sandhi let's take an example yan sandhi i'll just give an example of sutra so we understand what is pratyaya pratyaya need not be say Uh, we have heard say kap pratyaha or thing pratyaha sup pratyaha all this we say subanta pada singanta pada they are because sup is a pratyaha added and sub ante asya sup is sup pratyaha is at the end of which which word that is called as subanta and what what is has thing at is the its end thing ante asya that is singanta so thing is a pratyaha sup is a pratyaha set of pratyaha however here pratyaha in one sutra let's say a sutra Uh, one sandhi sutra we will not look at details of the sutra right now we will we'll see uh, further but let's say eko yanchi these are the sutra eko yanchi yan achi now we just need to understand what are the cases what are the cases so ikaha eko is ikaha eka yanchi ikaha is 61 shasti ek vachana yan is 11 and achi is seventh case of ach so you get achi is seventh case of ach saptami ek vachana ikaha yan achi so ikaha ikaha stane in the place of ik ik is a pratyahara ai un ru therefore e u r and v will get are are included by ik so in the place of e u r and l what is the adesha yan we'll see the meaning of the sutra in the uh, ach sandhi which is the next uh, next um, uh, prakarana but here our interest is yan is in first case ach ach is ach is when ach follows the sutra how you get the meaning of when ach follows by saptami vibhakti we'll see all that in that sutra my intention is to show yan what is yan yan is not a pratyaya if you understand the basic meaning of pratyaya but here 
what is said as pratiyate vidhiyate iti pratyaha by that definition in this sutra yan will become a pratyaha yan is a pratyaha now by this sutra and yan is a pratyaha yan is not an apratyaha since yan is a pratyaha therefore it is not an apratyaha and anudit savarnasya cha apratyaha this an whether this yan yan is what yan is a part of an yan yan is a part of an because an includes what a e u r r a o i o ch now actually if you look at the maheshwara sutras there are two nakaras this nakara one and there is another nakara here in learn sutra so you have two nakaras which nakara whether an means this an or an means this an if the an is this an then yan is not part of it you don't see yakara here a e u in that y you don't see but this yan is here y v r l and this is yan this and y v r l are part of yan whereas an is what an is this entire set this is the only sutra where an an is in an is formed with this akara and lan nakara lan nakara all other sutras where you see an they have this an every other sutra except for this sutra therefore there are two nakaras only in this sutra which we are looking at which sutra this is the sutra we are looking at right now which one anudit savarnasya cha pratyaya only in this sutra this an an which is said here an udit so an i'm sorry here i have not put on the pad chheda here an an is first case this an is parena nakarena it is by the lan nakara by, by the nakara of the lan sutra there is a pratyahara form in every other sutra wherever you see an except in this sutra it is purvena nakarena sah itas it will be said in the vritti further so this yan i want to say yan is a part of an because an is yan is a part of that an and an which kind of an an which is apratya that apratya an will and is the sanya apratya an will stand for swasya and savarnasya swasya and sar yan will stand for yan would have stood for would have stood for swasya and savarna yakara savarna yakara ya and uh, yan is what ya va ra and la so this is ya va ra la yakara vakara repa and lakara do they stand for themselves or also for their savarna that is the question which is being resolved by this sutra anudit savarnasya cha pratyah their apratya and alone is the sanya for savarna otherwise it is not a sanya for savarna therefore yan will include yavarala and not its all the uh, there uh, for yakara yakara vakara refa and lakara have refa does not have a savarna yakara vakara and lakara have a savarna as in uh, anus anunasika ananunasika they are the savarna for for yakara vakara and lakara but here since it is a pratyaya therefore apratyaya and it is not yan is not an apratyaya therefore it will not it will not stand for its savarna however ik ik you see here ik is also what ik is part of an ik is also part of an and what is an what is an here we saw that nakara is is the uh, para nakara lan nakara and an will expand as what an will expand as a e u r l a e u r a e u r l r a a o i o u o u then ha hakara which is ha ha akara ha ya va r l and then lan so the, this is the this entire set is an <coughs> sorry and what is this this is a sanya 
This is Sanya. Anna is a Sanya. Udit is a Sanya. This Udit is a Sanya. Anna and Udit are Sanyas for what? For Swasya and Savarnasya. Therefore, this Akara, Akara stands for all its, its 18 varieties we have seen earlier. How? Due to this Sutra. So, Akara is a Sanya given. Akara is a Sanya. Ikara is a Sanya. They are not just letters. They are also Sanya. Ikara means only Ikara. Only Raso E. But A, when you say A, A is not only Akara. A is Akara. A is Akara. A is Akara. And then all their um, Swarabhedas and all their, uh, all the uh, Anunasika and Anunasika. So A means A is a Sanya introduced by this Sutra. A is a Sanya given for all Swasya Akarasya, Raswa Akarasya and Savarnasya. Savarnasya Cha. Savarnasya Cha Sanya. A is a Sanya. So when you say An is a Sanya, An is a short form. And un being a short form for a, e, u, r, r, a, o, i, o, h, y, v, r, l, due to it including all of this, it is making each and every sanya. Just un is by saying un, he is made a sanya, a, he is made a sanya, e, u, r, all of these are sanya. For what? Their own self, swasya, and for all their bhedas. Whatever the bheda, uh, savarna bhedas are there, varieties are there, bheda meaning varieties. Whatever varieties are there for a, for A, all the 18 varieties. E, all the 18 varieties. U, 18. Ru, 18. And Ru, actually not Ru, 18. Ru will include Lu because by the earlier sutra, Ru and Lu, Mitha Savarnam Vachyam. So it has to be said that Ru and Lu, Ru has 18 Vedas. Lu has 18. But Ru will stand for 18 and Lu, Lu has 12 Vedas, not 18. Lu does not have a Dirgha. Ru has Dirgha and Pluta. Lu has Hatsua and Pluta, does not have Girga, therefore varieties, this, this will have 18 varieties. This fellow will have, uh, uh, this fellow will have 18 varieties, Lu will have 12 varieties. So 12 plus 18 you will get 30. So 30 Vedas you will get by Ru, and by Lu also, Lu will also include Ru, because Ru, Lu are what? Mitha Savarnam Vachyam, by the Vartika, earlier Vartika, these two will get what? Savarna Sanya and therefore when you say Ru, it will include Lu as well. By the Sutra, you are making a Sanya. Ru is a Sanya. Ru is a Sanya for what? It, it is part of And. So when say And is a Sanya, you are saying Akara, Ikara, Ru, Ru are Sanya for themselves as well as, well as for whatever Bhedas they have in Swara and uh, in, in Matra as well as in nasalization and non-nasalization. Therefore, Ru will include 30. Ru will also include 30. A will have no hraswa. A, O, I and O have no hraswa. Therefore, each of them have their own. They stand for their themselves as well as their uh, their uh, uh, their except for Jirgha, whatever Bhedas you get, 12 Bhedas, they will stand for those. Hakara, Yakara, Vakara, Repha and Lakara they will also stand for their own selves and savarna. So they, hakara will stand for hakara, nasalized and non-nasalized. So her as well as her. So it will be for her as well as there's a nasalized her. So her also can nasalize uh, her also. Except for repha, repha, repha does not have a r. It does not have a nasalized. So therefore, R will stand for itself, Repha will stand for itself, but H, Y, V and L, they will stand for themselves as well as their Savarna. These are the Sanyas created. Un by Un is one Sanya for what? For all these, A, E, U, R, E, all these are Sanyas and these Sanyas are for themselves as well as for Savarna. Then another Sanya created is this Ukara, it is there. If Ukara is it in whichever uh, pronunciation, so you see Ku which is an apratya. So here an is what, again, an is what apratya an. So apratya will go with an and this ku, ku is what, whichever is ku. This is not an apratya ku. Ku is whatever is seen there. Akuha visarjaniya nam kantha, where ku will stand for itself as well as savarna and savarna for kakara is what? It will stand for kakara sasya, kakara sasya and savarna. Savarna is ka varga letters, ka kha ga ga nya. So kha, the Ghanya also will be included in Ku. 
along with kakara. So this is the meaning of the sutra. Further, pratyati vidyati pratya. So this yand, why it is said apratya is because this yand should not be included. When an ordaining is done, the sutra has a pratya, ordainment is done. Wherever something is ordained, that ordain. So here, this ordain means this is an adesha. Instead of ik, ik should be replaced. Ik is what? Ik is a pratyara. What will ik include now? Ikaha. Ikaha is ik. Ik will be what? E, u, r, and mu. So there are four letters here. And these, not only four letters. This is an and. E is an and. U is an and. R is an and. And mu is an and. And anudit savaranasya cha pratyaya. By the sutra we are looking at. In this iko yanachi sutra also. Ik will stand for whether ik is a pratyaya or not. We have to analyze. Is ik a pratya? Ik is not a pratya. Why? Pratyate vidhiyate iti pratya. Ik is not the vidhi here. Ik is not an injunction. Ik is the, ik is for which there is a ordainment. There is an injunction. There is a rule, not injunction. Injunction in the Vedic, in the Vedas. These are also like mantra. These are also like uh, rules. They are vidhis, but not as something to do. It's a karya as a vyakrana karya. Vyakrana karya is a rule. It is said that yan, yan should be the replacement. Yan is the replacement, therefore yan is a pratya. Ik is what? Ik is not a pratya. It is for which there is a rule ordained by this sutra, Iko Yan Chi, that yan will be the, will be ordained for ik. And for ik shasti, this ik is not a pratya, therefore it is what? It is an apratya. Ik is an apratya ha. And it is an up, not only an apratya, it is an apratya and it is part of apratya and which is what e, u, r, and z. Therefore, e here will stand for all its 18 vedas. U will stand for all its 18 varieties. Ru will stand for ru and ru both will stand for all their 30 varieties because ru will stand for 18 of itself and 12 of lu and lu will stand for 12 of itself and 18 of Ru, because they are Mithasavarana Vacham, they should be, have been said to be uh, including each other in Savarana Sanya. Achi will forget. So I just wanted to say, Yavara is an, so what is the ordainment here? Yakara should be the replacement when Ach follows, you will see in that Sutra, but only Yakara, what should be the replacement? Not Yakara and Ya, ya. not Ya and Ya, both are not included. Savarana is not included because this is a pratya. So this is wrong. This would be wrong. Not this. So this will not be part of it. Only Yakara is ordained. Similarly, only Vakara, only Lakara. Refa anyway does not have Savarana. This is what I wanted to mention by Apratya extension. That why Apratya is said? Because to exclude these kind of things, Yan will not in include its Savarana. However, Ik will include its Savarana. So if you see a... Uh, ik, we'll see in the example, we'll see, we'll come back and see in the example as to why uh, where some sandhikarya happens, the way it happens. Okay? Avidya manaha an uditya savarnasya sanyasya. So, svasya and savarnasya cha sanyasya. Avidya mana. Avidya mana is the meaning now of what? Vidhiyate iti what? Pratiyate iti pratya. Vidhiyate iti what? Vidhiya manaha. Vidhiyate iti vidhiyamana. By shanat, karmani shanat, you can say what vidhiyate. Vidhiyate iti. So vidhiyate is what? Vidhiyate. Vidhiyate iti karmani vitpatya. Karmani vitpatti. Iti karmani vitpatti. Karmani vitpatya. What do you get? You get shanat. Vidhi. There is shanat pratya. Vidhiyamana you get. Vidhiya manaha and Vidhiya manaha is the meaning of this Vidhiyate is equal to Vidhiya manaha. Karmani vitpatya. So what is ordained? And na Vidhiya manaha, na Vidhiya manaha is Avidhiya manaha, which is not ordained. And in the Vritti, further he says, Avidya Manaha and Avidya Mano is Avidya Manaha and Avidya Avidya Manaha and Udit 
अन इज वॉट अन उदीच्य सवर्ण से संन्यासात सो सवर्ण से संज्ञा संज्ञा इज फॉर वॉट हुई संज्ञा हियर सो डोंट कन्फ्यूज दट दिस सूत्र इज मेकिंग सवर्ण संज्ञा इट इज नॉट मेकिंग सवर्ण संज्ञा सवर्ण संज्ञा हैज बीन डन बाय दरियर सूत्र दिस इज मेकिंग टू संज्ञा वन अन एज अ संज्ञा एंड अन इज नॉट वन संज्ञा अन इज अ संज्ञा अ इज अ संज्ञा ई इज अ संज्ञा उ इज अ संज्ञा रू इज अ संज्ञा ऑल दो स्टिल स्टिल ल स्टिल लकारा ऑल दीज आर संज्ञा अनुदित and what udit an and udit an is one sanya and that one sanya is a pratyahara which can be expanded to a e u r r a o i o h y v r l this is this entire set of sanyas those are the sanyas created not only that udit is also sanya created by the sutra ch for what swasya so you can say swasya here in bracket i'll put swasya swasya स्वस्य सवर्ण से विल गो स्वस्य उदित च एंड देन यू कैन स्वस्य च स्वस्य सवर्ण से संन्यासया इट इज अ संज्ञा सो सवर्ण से अन इज अ संज्ञा उदित इज अ संज्ञा बाय दिस सूत्र इट इज अ संज्ञा सूत्र अन एंड उदित आर संज्ञा वॉट इज अ संज्ञी संज्ञी संज्ञा से अस्ति संज्ञी संज्ञा इज सवर्ण से फॉर अ सवर्ण देर इज अ संज्ञा अत्रेव अत्र दिस हेव ऑलरेडी सेड सो अत्र अन परेण नकारेण दिस इज बाय दी दी सेकंड नकारा ऑफ दी महेश्वर सूत्र विच इज नॉट अईउन नकारा बट लन नकारा दिस इज अत्रेव अत्रेव इज अस्मिन सूत्रे ओनली इन दिस सूत्र नकारा अन विल स्टैंड फॉर नकारा अन इज विथ दी प्रत्यारा इज विथ दी अकारा ऑफ दी फर्स्ट सूत्र एंड नकारा ऑफ दी लन सूत्र एंड देयर बाय व्हाट यू गेट दिस कु चु टु टु पु एते उदितः उदित इज व्हाट उतित्यस्य Kukara is ut, chukara is chu is ut, tu is ut, tu is ut, and pu is ut. Ete udita ha. Udit udita udita ha. Udita is what? Prathama bhuvachana. I'll take few more minutes. I'll finish this sutra. Ku chu tu tu pu ete udita ha. All these are or udita ha. Udita ha sanya ha shuhu. So you can say udita ha sanya ha shuhu. Sanya, sanya ka ha, sanya ka ha shuhu. so there will be what sanyaka sanyaka sy all these are what udit sanya or uh, will get udit sanya and by udit sanya what do you get this the ku stands for all its varga letters ka kha ga ga na chu is cha cha ja ja na tu is ta ta da da na tu is ta ta da da na and pu is pa pa ba ba ma we already used this ku chu tu tu pu in the earlier sutras vrutti where we have seen the uh, Shiksha sutras. In Shiksha sutras, these have already been used, and these are explained here by this sutra. They get the uh, they get the udit sanya, and they will include thavarna also. Tadevam. And here it is explained. This I already explained, so we'll go through it. Tadevam. It is in this manner. Which manner? What has been said? That is in this manner. That is so. How is it? A iti ashta dasha nam sanya. So a will stand for by an. An is a sanya, and an means what? A. a uh, will stand for all its 18 iti ashta dashanam a a and then this uh, udita anudita and swarita bheda and then so hraswa dirga pluta udita anudita swarita and also nasalized non uh, anunasika ananunasika thereby you get 18 bheda so a uh, will stand for all 18 tatha ikaro ukaro so ikaro ukaro ikara and ukara also tatha tatha eva as ashtadashanam sanya shu understand them to be ashtadashanam sanya let it be syat let it be sanya for all their 18 rukara however rukara and lukara are mitasthavarnam therefore they will stand for 18 of their own varieties and 12 of the other so rukara will stand for 18 of its own ashtadashanam sanya And dwadasha nam, dwadasha for what? Drukara, because there is no dirga. Similarly, even drukara api, drukara also will stand for its own twelve bhedas varieties and also eighteen of drukara because it is also thavarna. H O dwadasha nam, H O H is what? A O I and O. So A O I O H, that is H. Therefore, A O I and O will stand for their twelve varieties because there is no ह्रस्व ह्रस्व से अभावात देर इज ह्रस्व अभावात बिकॉज दे डोंट नॉट हैव 
एक मात्रा दे आर ऑलवेज टू मात्रा और कृपा एज थ्री मात्रा एंड अनुनासिक अनुनासिक भेद है ना नेजलाइजेशन एंड नॉन नेजलाइजेशन थ्रू दैट यवला यवला इज वॉट यकार वकार एंड लकार यवला यवला द्विधा दे आर ऑफ टू टाइप्स वन इज अजलाइज अनदर इज नॉन नेजलाइज देर बाय यू गेट यकार वकार एंड लकार एज एज बोथ स्क्रीन लॉस दैट स्ट्रेंज Okay, we'll uh, revisit this. I'll just complete this. Vidha. Uh, so, yavala ha, yakara, vakara, and lakara are of two types by anunasika, anunasika. Te na anunasika ha, te dwayor, dwayor sanya. So, therefore, anunasika and anunasika, yakara, vakara, and lakara will stand for both themselves and the. Okay, I think uh, some problem at uh, your end. If you are not able to see the screen, some are able to see. Okay. Anyway, I hope you have the uh, Lagu book in hand, the Gita Press book, or any Lagu Vritti should do if you are not able to see the screen. So I'm just reading now because I already explained this. Anunasika and Anunasika Yavala, uh, Yakara, Vakara, and Lakara have their nasalized and non-nasalized forms. They stand for each other by Savarna Sanya created earlier. And here, when you say Yakara, Ya, Go, and La, when it is said, then they will stand for in this sutra Yan. They will not stand because they are Pratya. Here, yavala, which are apratya, they are vidha. They are of two types. Yakara will stand for itself and non. Uh, it's nasalized. Vakara will stand for itself and it's nasalized. Lakara for itself and nasalized. But repa does not have a savarna. And dwayor dwayor sanya. So they the sanya of two each. Yakara is uh, sanya for two each. Vakara is for each of two. Vakara and non nasalized vakara and nasalized vakara. Similarly, lakara is also twofold. This is the meaning of the sutra here. We'll see the uh, derivation. I mean, this example I would like to explain as how this sutra is applicable. That apratya factor I want to explain using ekoyanchi as an example sutra. I would take this in the uh, next part tomorrow. वृतावसाने नटराजराजो नन्नादक्कावपंचवु काम सनकादि सिद्धाशे शिवसूत्रजाल एनी क्वेश्चन सॉरी देर आर सम हिकअप्स विथ